Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C demo series focusing on the best practices for Oracle BI applications management. The screen watch is a part of a series on service level management or SLM for OBIE applications. In part 2 of modeling, we'll show you how to create the generic services in EM12C that use a recorded BI synthetic transaction. Modeling the service involves four steps. First step is to provide a name of service. Second step is to importing the open script. Third step is to associating beacons to the service. Final step is to review before generating the service. Let's start with creating the service. To create the service, go to Targets and select the services. And in the service menu, click the Create and select the generic service test basis. We wanted to choose the test-based generic service because we are using the open script to record the transactions on the Oracle BI application. Provide the uh, name of your service. So in this case, I will say BI SLM and select my time zone. Next. Select the test type as ATS transactions. And again, provide the name of your service. And I just select the collection frequency time as a 5 minutes as a default and I'll upload my ATSD file which I have created in the previous steps using the open script. So go to my BI folder and select one of my ATS script and click continue. Once the script has been uploaded, you can see that the script information has been populated. Click next. Third step is to associate the beacons to your service. Click Add button and select the beacon that you want to associate to this service. So I'll select my BI HQ as my beacon for this service and click Next. So last step is just the review of your service. Once you're satisfied with the input that you provided, click Finish button. Once the service has been created, it will show the status as a pending. One way you can find that the script is working, you can check by going to Administration and select the Service Test and Beacons. In this step, you can run a uh, service test to verify the service is working. So click Verify Service Test and click the Perform Test. Once the test is done, then it will bring the status of your service and what will be the total time and connect time and all the information that is uh, needed for your performance. So we know that the uh, service is working then we need to create the performance and usage matrix because the creation service only required first step which didn't include the creation of performance or usage matrix. To create the performance matrix go to generic service menu administration and click the performance matrix. Select the base on service test, click Go button. In the matrix, you have a multiple choices, and you can add one or more or all of the metrics that you wanted to include on your performance matrix. So let's try to add by starting the status and continue. And you can put the threshold or uh, for the warning in critical. And if you wanted to add the multiple uh, metrics, click Go. And this time I'll choose total time and continue. And provide my warning threshold as uh, 6 seconds. Now then notice that the unit for total time is a millisecond. So if I wa wanted to put it as a 6 seconds for my warning, I'll have to put 6,000. And for my critical threshold, I'll write it as a 8 seconds. If you wanted to add more uh, metrics, you can click simply go. Or if you're satisfied with the metrics that you have, you can simply click OK. Similarly, if you wanted to um, add the usage matrix, go to Administration and click the usage matrix. Here you see that the warning say I cannot add a uh, usage matrix because I have not associated the system to this service. So to associate the system to the service, go to Generic Service, Administration, System Association and select the system that I wanted to associate to my service. So for the system, I select the target type as Oracle BI instance and select the one instance that is associated with this service. Click Select. 
Now the system is associated to this service, I can start to create a usage matrix based on this system. In the target type, choose the target that you want it to create the usage matrix for. So I'll select the Oracle BI server as my target. And for the metric, I'll choose the CP usage. And you have also options to choose the uh, use the metric from a specific component or aggregate the metric across the multiple components. Continue. I can probe my warning and critical threshold my CPU. So I'll provide 80% as warning and 90% for the critical. Similar to performance, if you wanted to add multiple usage matrix, click Add button and select the one that you wanted to create the uh, usage matrix for. So in this case, I will select Oracle BI scheduler as my target type and memory usage as my metric. Continue. And provide my warning and critical threshold, similar to my CP usage. If you wanted to add more, you can simply click Add, or if you're satisfied with the metrics that you have, click OK button. Once the performance and usage matrix has been created and have the service been up and running for a while, you can check the performance and usage matrix by simply going to the performance and instance tab. Here you will see the performance matrix and usage matrix. And if there was a time that the, either of them has crossed the warning or a critical threshold, you will see that under the instance and problems tab down here. This concludes our demo of creating the service and the metrics. The benefit of running synthetic transaction is to manage the system proactively by running tests periodically on a various locations and evaluate the performance of the synthetic transaction. Next step is to create the service level agreement based on the metrics that we created in this demo and generate the dashboard. This concludes our demo of modeling the service test. Please continue to part 3 of our demo of creating SLM. Thank you. Thank you for watching this demonstration. For more information, please visit the following website.